Hi all and welcome! Once we selected our components, defined labels and interactivity ranges, we can now start to define presets. Remember back, these pre-configured presentations allow for an easy interaction for the user at home between, for example, a standard default mix, a version without any commentator or a version with a boosted dialogue signal. And this is what we're going to do now. First, we jump to the preset section. At least one preset needs to be defined in every MPEG-H scene, even if you don't want to allow any interactivity. In our case, we want to combine the components into three presets and give them a name. Default, which is our standard mix. Dialog Plus, in which the three commentators are boosted. And a preset, no commentary. in which there is no commentator object at all. A preset can also be automatically selected by the end consumer device. For example, if a visually impaired person configured the receiver in a way that it automatically jumps to the preset containing an audio description. So please select the preset kind if it's matching the containing information. In our case, this can be applied to the Dialog Plus preset selecting Hearing Impaired. On the left-hand side is the list of available components. By using these buttons here, we can add components into the selected preset. So for the default preset, we add the 5.1 plus 4 ambience bed and the switch group, which contains all three commentators. It's important to select the switch group and not a member individually to make it work properly. On the right hand side, we can enable or disable interactivity for the objects. The user could customize the audio mix according to our pre-configured ranges. That's what we did in the component section. Also, there's a selection about the type of loudness measurement. On default, it's an integrated loudness measurement, but we can also enable anchor-based loudness if we want to. In this case, we enable gain and position interactivity on the three commentator objects in the default mix. For the Dialog Plus preset, we add again the 5.1 plus 4 bed and the switch group. But in this case, we will boost the language by 6 dB. Means, if the user select this preset, the dialog will automatically be boosted by 6 dB. We also allow gain and position interactivity. Finally, we define the no commentator preset. And therefore, we just select the 5.1 plus 4 bed without any commentator at all. And this is how we configure presets in MPEG-H. And if we can monitor them and how this works is covered in the next video. So see you there.